Due to ongoing renovations at Simmons Field, the Lima Locos will not open at home next Thursday. They'll have to reschedule that game with Grand Lake. So Friday, they'll travel to Salina for the season opener against the Mariners and will play their home opener a week from tomorrow against Xenia. Austin Scott nearly went loco with all the crazy plays to choose from in this week's Layfield Welding Top 5. We begin this week's countdown with district tennis action at Bowling Green State University. Defiance's Daniel Lasarte taking on Sandusky's Braden Strang. Check out Lasarte with a perfectly executed drop shot for the point. He'll be competing at the state tournament in Columbus. LCC's Emily Shreenan makes her way into the record books at number four. She sets the LCC school record in the mile with a time of five minutes and 19 seconds at the district meet in Spencerville. Arlington playing for a district title against New Regal at the third spot. Laura Myers comes up to the dish and rockets this pitch down the third baseline. It stays fair and clears the fence for the two-run homer. Lady Red Devils end the season though with the seven to six loss. Chloe Walkamuth blasts her way to the runner-up spot this week. In the district semifinal game against Defiance, she clears the bases with a grand slam to center field. Later in the game, she tattoos this pitch in the left field, spaloosh into the spectator lounge, a three-run shot. There's plenty of power from this freshman. The PCL champion Miller City Wildcats call their way to the top spot this week playing for the district championship against Columbus Grove. Keep your ojos on Corbin Neese as he extends for the grab in center field. The sophomore playing great defense behind senior pitcher Ross Lehman, who gets the strikeout here to end the game and complete the no-hitter. The Wildcats are district champions for the first time since 1993. Congratulations to all spring sport team and athletes on their success this season. And thanks to Layfield Welding for helping us hand out the hardware on the top five plays of the week.